Hey, what's going on guys? Crypto Geo here. About to bring you some crypto content. So this is going to be my first video and I'll be mainly focusing on news. In the future, I'll be making more tutorials, knowledge, uh, lessons, stuff like that about everything I've learned in the past two years. But let's just jump right into it. So first things first, you may take this as good news or bad news depending on the way you see it. If you're a complete degenerate, this is definitely bad news, but Hong Kong's coming in with some regulations. All right, so yeah, it's it brought out some rules to let retail investors trade l certain large cap tokens on exchanges. Uh, so of course, this is gonna be Bitcoin and ETH, maybe some other coins. I doubt there's gonna be many stable coins just because of this CBDC push recently, but uh, we'll see what they got in store. So China, as you may know, if you've been in the space for a year or more, banned crypto for the 37th time or something last year but it doesn't really matter it doesn't you're never stopping crypto so this could be like a um like a lab for china to see the potential that blockchain has for its one billion citizens which is pretty crazy it says netizens here i guess it means citizens on the net i don't know i haven't looked up the word i probably should have googled that who cares um so what's interesting is that all the exchanges will have to obtain licenses from Hong Kong in order to trade there. Meaning that right now, if Coinbase allows people in Hong Kong to trade there, they will need to ban their IP addresses until they get the licensing from Hong Kong. I don't know if Coinbase can trade in Hong Kong. I think it may just be a US firm. We'll see. I don't know. In any case, allegedly, this is having some positive responses, but it's the news, so you never really know what you could trust. And yeah, okay, on to the next one. So this one's pretty cool. There's this AI-powered search engine for crypto named Kato or Kaito. I don't know. I never really know how to pronounce things. Uh, but they raised over $5 million to improve their browsing with AI and chat GPT. So I'm actually going to start discussing this article a little bit further down because the first question is, what's the point of creating a search engine uh, with AI? A lot of people are doing it, but this one is specific to crypto. So what it's doing is that a lot of the information you need for crypto, like new project and stuff, because things are moving at the speed of light here. There's no real good way to search for it. Like, yes, you can Google, but it's very limited what it does show you. And that's why people often defer to going to Twitter uh, to finding new information about coins, stuff like that. And also Google, Google cannot search on the blockchain. So what Kaito is doing is creating this product to let users search through platforms like Twitter, Discord, governance forums, me Mirror, Medium, podcast transcripts, and research. So I don't know about you, but when I search on Google, I don't think I've ever come across a mirror or a medium like post or let alone a podcast transcript. So this is getting access to a lot of forms of information that we previously didn't have like the ability to search through. You'd have to just be in the podcast or listening um, to people speak in spaces in order to get that information. Yeah. So what it's doing is that it's using the AI to get a lot of this information that isn't so readily accessible normally. Uh, like this through ranking, topic mining, personalization, recommendations, speech to text. I don't know too much about AI. It's probably something I'm going to be looking into and learning more about in the couple months uh, just to see exactly what's going on there because it's pretty, it's pretty big what's going on with AI. So this a retail investor-focused search engine will be live second quarter 2023, which starts in about a little over a month from the day that I'm recording this. Um, if you go to the Cato website, I can link this in the description. Uh, you can sign up. Uh, you can sign up to be on the wait list. Like I've done this, and probably once it comes out, I'll make some videos going over how to use it most effectively, and just how you can use it to make more educated like investment decisions and such. What's cool is that it's going to separate searches by facts and opinions. I'm not entirely sure how it's going to do this exactly, but it's pretty. It's pretty cool that it allegedly is going to be able to determine the difference between these two. Another thing it'll do, it'll have a model similar to Wikipedia, 
where you can contribute to it just add knowledge and you can like level up the the better you do uh, the higher your ranking and the more weight uh, the value you give is ranked all right cool next story arbitrum yeah you may have heard about arbitrum i've been hearing more and more about it in the past like month or two and it's going crazy recently so more about arbitrum if you don't know anything about arbitrum it's another layer two solution on ethereum just like polygon polygon and at the moment it has the fastest growing user base i mean even as much as having 50 percent of the daily eth transactions in january which is just like insane like i get that a lot of people want to transact on a layer two for lower lower fees and stuff like that but to have half of the eth transactions just nuts so the reason for this is just wider adoption in DeFi and gaming applications. So DeFi, I think, is the future. It's like it's the thing that the the world needs a lot at this moment. Just more people access to money, and gaming applications is what I think is going to go absolutely ballistic within the next one to three years. Probably like two to three years in crypto. It's something I'm going to be researching more in the coming months and trying to figure out coins to invest in. I'm going to make an entire like playlist on both of these topics because they're just absolutely massive. All right, so building on Arbitrum are other crypto derivative exchanges like GMX. If you don't know what a derivative is, that's something like futures or options. It's not spot, but it's related to the price of the asset that you want to trade. Um, it's had $400 million in daily volume and $500,000 in daily revenue recently, which is like crazy for a layer for a, a single application on this layer two so there's these other platforms also on arbitrum i'm not really going to go into it um but yeah arbitrum is the only chain right now where li liquidity locked is growing which is a really big sign like follow the money that's a big point but yeah going into more of these platforms um there's this one thread on twitter i'm going to link it in the description that just goes through uh, what Arbitrum is better, the ecosystem, many of the protocols inside of it. And yeah, it's a really good thread. Highly recommend you look at this and go through it and just keep an eye out for these coins and what's going on. But all right, that's enough for me today. This was weird. First time talking into a camera. It'll be a little bit better tomorrow. But until I see you next time, take care.